<laughs> Sorry, my dog is just staring at me. Um, I have a lot of fur friends that are going to be joining us in some videos, perhaps, because they like to show a lot of love, like Mr. Yoshi here. I don't know if you'll be able to see him. Come here, buddy. Ooh, this is my dog. Say hi to the camera. Say hi to the camera. Oh, he just wants me to give me kisses. But, um, yeah. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to our online classroom. Um, things are going to be a little bit different now, but, um, I just wanted to make this video to kind of explain how things are going to go, um, because it may be a little bit different from your other teachers, maybe not, but I still want to make this video to kind of make things a little bit easier. Um, so I'll be making videos in, um, this is my personal art studio. Um, this is where I spend a lot of time making my own art. I've put some of your artwork behind me to make it really feel like we're in the classroom together. Um, so yeah, um, I'll be making videos for you to show you, um, what you're going to be doing for your projects, just to kind of guide you step by step and make sure that everything is explained as thoroughly as possible and that you don't get confused, but even if you do get confused, I'll help you along the way. Um, yeah. Also, I know a lot of us are visual learners. That's why a lot of us turn out to be artists. Um, but yeah, usually a video will help you understand exactly what to do a little better instead of reading it with pictures. I know that can get a little bit confusing, but if you see me do it, it might be a little bit easier for you. Anyways, um, so yeah, whenever I assign you your project, um, you'll be taking a picture of your project and then you'll be uploading them to um, our Google Classroom. Um, I'll provide a link to that to my website and whenever I assign you your projects, I'll explain that a little bit further. Um, yeah, so any if any of this gets confusing, um, feel free to shoot me an email. Um, parents, I'll provide you guys with a phone number on my website if you prefer that method of communication because I know that could be a little bit easier than email. Or um, you can also reach out to your homeroom teachers and they can message me, but um, if it's anything regarding to art, um, the best probably method of contact is to actually ask me because I'll know a little bit more clear and I can help you a little bit better with the assignments and the projects. So, yeah, that's it. Um, that's all I wanted to say. Um, I want to say that I miss you guys at school. I miss being in the classroom with you guys, laughing and learning and creating amazing art. Um, but I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying the comfort of your home. I'm so excited to make art with you guys. Um, I'm so excited that we still get that opportunity and we get to be in the comfort of our own home. And what's better than that? Um, but yeah, I love you guys. I hope you're staying safe, um, and I'll see you soon.